This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey gang, Larry Vickers here. I'm out here at Gunsight. I got my good buddy, Adam, from Mile High Shooting Accessories, and he's gonna take us through the latest and greatest offering from Accuracy International. Yes, sir, this is the AX ASR rifle kit. And this was the submission that AI had to SOCOM? Yes, sir. Okay, yep. and it's, as far as rifle and the goodies that come in the case? Yes, every, everything on this table comes with this kit uh, to the consumer minus the suppressor, scope, and mount. Right, and those are obviously something you can add on to it. Yep, cool. So what all do we got here? So in the case, we have a drag bag and the lid, okay? Then you come down and then in the, the far left there, we have five mags for each caliber. So you have five 308 mags, you have five 300 Norma, and five 338 Norma mags. Then we have a sling for the rifle, butt hook, uh, butt spacers, things like that. Coming around front here, we have the fix it stick toolkit. So you can basically tighten anything, loosen anything, set it back to, to factory spec. Obviously, your owner's manual. And then in that uh, bottom kit there, you have cleaning, you have the bore snakes, patches, uh, bore guide, uh, things like that, just to, to help clean, clean the rifle. Uh, then you'll see in the bottom, we have an actual cleaning rod as well. It's a full length, one piece, it's not a sectional. Okay, then uh, the, obviously the other bolt here and then the two other barrels. So this is the 308, so there's the 338 and the 300 Norma as well in the kit. Good deal. Now, if you don't mind, kind of take me through this thing starting at yep, the butt plate. We'll start at the butt right here, yeah. So they still have the same adjustable butt as uh, the AXMC, the rifle that you can buy right now. But moving forward from here, you'll see one of the, the, one of the nicest things here is they've moved this flush cup attachment point. Mm -hmm. One, it's uh, non-rotating, so that sling doesn't just sit there mm -hmm. and keep rotating, get all bound up on you. And then it's actually in a really nice usable place as when that sling comes around your shoulder, it can lock in to wherever you want it. And it won't, it won't rotate. It's not in the way of your cheek weld or anything like that. Uh, and then you don't have a really long sling trying to get around to the other side of the comb. Next is your adjustable length of pull. You have a push button so you can push this, throw your lever, and then you can actually move this uh, in and out. Uh, and it's on this thread and shaft, so it, it locks down really solid. Um, and it, you have a very large length of pull uh, adjustment. So whether you're shooting prone or from a bench or a modified shooting position, you can fit this very quickly to wherever you want to be. Throw the lever to lock it down. And then, yeah, obviously throw the lever to lock it down wherever you want at that point, okay? The adjustable comb is the same as you have your push button throw lever. So you can adjust this um, relatively quickly and it is spring loaded. So you, you can set this basically wherever you want it. Then also what they change is you can move this comb forward and rearward as well. Left and right, mm. forward and rearward. So depending on your size, you know, military, law enforcement, whatever, you get some guys that are 6'8 and you get a guy that's 5'8, you know? So you have to be able to adapt this gun and fit it to that person that is using it. And this does that very well. Uh, moving forward of that, uh, you can see that this is cut out very large right here. And that's so it can capture your bolt handle. Um, very nice design. It comes around, captures everything very, mm -hmm. very easily. Um, just makes it a low profile system as when you put it in a pack, um, it's easier to, you know, hide the bolt and the stock. It's just much narrower. Same hinge as they've used before. It's slightly redesigned as this, this hinge, they've made it so that it's uh, you can make it righty or lefty, basically, if you want it to fold one way or the Whatever. other, uh, which is very handy. But the lockup mechanism is still the same as all the rifles that they've used in the past. 
uh, Crane Naval Warfare has tested it. It's, it is the strongest hinge on the market. There is no better hinge that locks up than the Accuracy International. One of the biggest changes here is the grip. So all Accuracy Internationals are known for that big plastic grip. Uh, they didn't have any changing back straps, things like that. And now they've went to this AR style. AR compatible. Yes. So this comes with the Ergo grip and you can see how it's cut. It actually kind of gives you that 90 degree angle so it's easier to get that nice straight pull on a precision rifle that you want to pull straight rearward. You get a nice 90 degree angle here. That right there is, is a game changer. It feels really good in the hand. You have really good control of the gun as well. Moving forward to that, you'll see the safety system here. It is an ambi safety, so I'm sure you guys can see I can move it from the, the other side here. Uh, it's an AR style safety. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically what you can do is either side ambi, it's an AR style. A lot of guys are already used to engaging and disengaging that safety with their thumb or their, their trigger, trigger finger, finger, right? So that allows you to engage the safety here. The difference is, is this is not a three position safety, which Accuracy International is known for. They have basically your fire mode, your admin mode, where you can load, make ready, but it's still on safe. And then they have the bolt lock position. So this, the safety's on, we can still load, make ready, do all that, but you still have your safety, forward is fire. They've bypassed the bolt lock. They've bypassed the bolt lock. Um, but still has the same exact safety where we're pulling the cocking piece rearward. It disengages the whole firing pin assembly from the trigger, which that's what makes that safety system so, so good. You, your trigger can't malfunction at that point because nothing's engaging it. Good deal. So one of the other differences is the trigger in the ASR. It is a two and a half pound trigger, still two stage. Accuracy International has always had a two stage trigger. And this is now the same trigger, but it's tuned to two and a half pounds. That's probably one of the biggest complaints is they always had a little bit of a heavy trigger pull. Now it's two and a half pounds, total weight, still the same good crisp break that you could always expect from Accuracy International. Good deal. With the ASR, you get two bolts. Because of the calibers that come with this gun, you have 338 Norma, you have 300 Norma, and you have 308 Winchester. So we have the 308 bolt in, then we can put the Norma bolt in. So the 338 Norma and the 300 Norma have the same bolt face. So you get two bolts with this gun. If you look at this receiver, okay, still moving forward here, you'll see that it's scalloped yeah. here in the front. It's actually a little that. bit shorter and they did machine this out a little bit. So the action itself is about eight ounces lighter than the PSR. They've really worked hard on getting this action a little smaller, a little lighter. It's been machined down and make it a little bit more compact, not as bulky, you don't have to carry as much around. Ambidextrous mag catch here, which is nice. They worked really hard on making everything uh, ambidextrous, which you could probably appreciate mm -hmm. a little bit. What's the mag capacity? Mag capacity on both 338, 300, Norma, and 308 is 10 rounds. As far as mags go, you can kind of see we have some of the mags here. This is probably going to be one of the most wanted pieces of this kit, and this is the 308 mag. Okay, if you look at it, we still have the same external dimensions as the 300 Norma magazine. So we, they're the same size, but if you look at the followers here, this feeds 308, this feeds the Norma. So that, that alone right there is one of the neatest things. They've done away with the mag adapter. Mm -hmm. Remember we had to stick the mag adapter in yeah. there. You could use the same, same 308 mags that the AX has used, the 308 guns. Now this just uses its own proprietary mag and you don't have to keep track of one more thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving forward to that, you'll see this, this forearm right here. And this is all solid aluminum. Okay. And the thing with that is, is it's machined directly into this, this main chassis. It makes it stronger, more rigid. And then there is a dovetail machined right here on the bottom. And this is RRS, a really right stuff spec dovetail that is machined directly into the chassis. And this allows us to hook multiple things to it. So one, the really right stuff tripods. So if you're shooting from an improvised position, you can hook it into a tripod 
and shoot from that tripod, sitting, kneeling, standing. That comes in very handy. Then you can also see that they put a flat 90 degree mm -hmm. uh, barricade stop. So if you need to jam that gun into something, it's already built in. You're not jamming into the mag. As soon as you start messing with mags, no matter how good the gun is, you can have feeding issues. So they basically eliminated that here. Mm -hmm. Made everything nice and flat, easy to work with. On the bottom of that is M-Lock as well. So if you had to put an M-Lock rail for, for a pick rail or something like that, you can. One of the other big features of this is uh, a lot of people will see that this isn't the traditional Accuracy International key slot forearm tube. This is M-Lock. Mm -hmm. okay? That was part of the submission is they wanted this forearm tube to be M-Lock rails. So the nice thing is they, they made the forearm tube with uh, M-Lock. Also, Accuracy International is known for this top rail being attached with key slot. Now, this entire forearm tube from here to here is one extrusion. Hmm. So this top rail is no longer screwed on, it is machined in, it is directly part of the forearm tube, which makes it just one less thing to go wrong. And then you'll see also that it has the really right stuff uh, dovetail attachment as well. And it has M-lock in the bottom of it, so if you want to attach, say, your bipod to that pick rail, you can. Now okay. 20 MOA, 30 MOA? 20 MOA on these. Okay. Yep, 20 MOA built into the to the receiver rail there. So moving forward to that, so we have all of our barrels here. They're all Bartline barrels. They're all machined here in the United States, checked, tested, and then sent out. They're great barrels, they, mm -hmm. they hammer. We have very little point of impact shift from barrel to barrel to barrel. Yeah, they're, they make a great barrel. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. So next is the is the suppressor or muzzle brake. The suppressor doesn't come with the gun. Uh, mile high, we, we obviously have the suppressors available for the, for the kit. It does not come with the gun. But what does come on the gun is the muzzle brake. And this is Thunder Beast's uh, 338SR muzzle brake. It comes in multiple thread pitches for whatever you, know, whatever you wanna run on here. Uh, these are all 3 quarter 24. And that titanium? Suppressor. This is a, a titanium suppressor. I could with, tell when I was picking it up, it's pretty yeah, light. It's very light, uh, and the sound reduction on these things is, is amazing. Like I said, muzzle brakes, everything come on the, on the rifle, but the suppressor itself we have available to buy with the kits. Okay. Now, scope and mount, yep. is that an additional thing? The scope and mount are additional as well. So coming back, we have the spur mount here. We have the, the SP4602 on this because we want to shoot it a long way. So we have 20 MOA rail here with 20 MOA in the mount. Mm -hmm. So that gets us our max adjustment out of the Night Force scope. We have the Night Force 7 to 35 uh, Mil XT on here, uh, which you'll see has the nice holdover grids and everything in here. It's, uh, it's an amazing piece of equipment here. This scope alone, so obviously 7 to 35, you have your illuminated reticle, uh, you'll get approximately about 28 mils of adjustment out of that turret with, with the 40 MOA that we have built in. I know talking to you yesterday before we started filming this, you guys are real happy with Night Force I mean, in mm -hmm. terms of the quality of the product, Extreme. durability. We never get a Night Force back. They always track, they always work. When you dial the turret, you know that you're gonna get the results that you want. It takes all the recoil in the world. We sell thousands of scopes to, to shooters across the world and they're huge in the 50 cal world uh, just because they know they can handle the recoil and, and keep on working along with the spur mount. You pair these two together and it, it's a bomb proof system to, uh, to make sure that your, your rifle scope isn't gonna go anywhere. This is, this is the most important part of a rifle just for the fact that we're dealing with thousands of an inch and then all of a sudden you put off a small charge underneath here and it just, it rocks that scope. So these things are, are amazing. So Adam, if somebody's interested in one of these rigs, they need to get a hold of Mile High Shooting Accessories now because these are actually available right yes, now. Yes, sir. Yep. Just call us and we'll, we'll set everything up. Excellent. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A-X-A-S-R. Have a good one. LAV out.